Everyone loves free apps, so today I'm bringing you four of them. Three gonna be to spice things up a little when you post a picture in Instagram or when you share it on stories. And then the other one is gonna be to improve your creativity overall. This is gonna make you a better photographer and it doesn't matter if you are portrait photographer, landscape, travel, uh, product, this is gonna be useful for everyone. And for me it's a must and it's for free as well. So the first one would be SCRL. This app is super cool to do panoramics. So you can see here the premium templates you have to do creative things, but I don't pay it. So you go here, you have the option new blank and you can create pages in a carousel. So I show you an example because it's better to show you. And this one, for example, I did with a model. This is the montage you do. So if you go here and you slide, you see all the sequence of the pictures, which I love. I love this photo shoot. And then in the end, my website, which is very good for promotion for you as well. So you go here to preview. I'll show you better how it looks like in a carousel on Instagram. You have the option to preview as a video or a carousel. You can save it as a video as well, but I prefer carousels. So you go here. This is what your audience sees on Instagram. This is the portrait format. And then when you slide towards the right, it creates a seamless picture. And I love this because it's huge, the picture in horizontal, and I love that. And then you carry on. This one takes the whole frame as well. You can create a bit with design here. And then this one. And then my website, you can add text as well. And I love how it looks because it looks like a campaign and I love to put it out there because the audience on Instagram, just so you know, if they spend more time in your post, Instagram is gonna show it to more people. That's why it's super beneficial. When you have similar pictures of the same model, I always tell you guys when I review your portfolios to don't post so many together, put them in a carousel like I did. I could have shared these pictures separately, but they are very similar because it's the same background but different frames. So in a sequence of carousels, like it looks great. And the audience spend more time in your post and Instagram algorithm so it to more people. So another example would be, this one is creative. This is what I mean, when you pay, this one was for free, but when you pay, you get something like this. This is the preview. It creates something more creative, like with frames, like film frames and things like that. This is just two shots, but you can get creative with this a lot. Then another example, this one is different. This one was to promote one of my YouTube videos. So I said here, I'm gonna put the preview right away. And you have here my picture with my camera. And then if you go right, you see the horizontal format, like very big. It's the thumbnail of one of, well, not really the thumbnail, but a similar picture of one of my videos. Become a freelancer. And this is me in horizontal, well big. And then this is the promo. New video at my YouTube channel, link in bio. And it looks super cool, this carousel. So this app is to do things like this. And I think it's super amazing because the free version, you can do things like this already and you don't have to pay. Then the next app would be, okay, with this one, you can do a lot of stuff. It's called PixArt. You can do a lot. Uh, I don't even know how to use it completely because I think uh, it's too many things going on. But what I use it for, when you press plus here, you can see you can create a slideshow, a grid, freestyle frames. Uh, I don't know, you can do things with the videos as well to add effects. I think it has cameras on it, but I just use it for one thing you guys love, which is grids. And if you go to grid, I'll show you how it works. You pick like three pictures, five pictures, two pictures, I like three always. So I'm gonna pick three of the same series. I'm gonna pick this one, this self-portrait, this one, and this one. And then you have here the different options of collage. This one is moving, hard, blah, blah, blah. I always pick this one. And you always guys ask me about this one when I do it on Instagram. So I pick this one with three pictures and you can see the format is a square, but you can change it as well. So what I do is because I normally share a portrait format on Instagram, you go here to the ratio and you put here portrait. You see, and now it's longer. And I remove the border. I don't like the borders. So you go to border and you can make it uh, bigger or tinier. I remove it. And then I always compose the picture. For example, this one, I put it in the middle because I'm looking to the camera. This one, I'm gonna keep it that way. Then you can even make it bigger or smaller. I'm gonna leave it small. And that's it. Then you go to next and you download it. And you go to your photos and it should be here. There you go. 
and you have the picture here. So what I would do on Instagram, so I put more slides into the carousel and people spend more time on my profile, I would share, for example, uh, these three shots individually and in the end, the composition of the three of them. And you guys used to love this and you DM me all the time asking me how to do it. So it's with this app. I just use it for this, but you can explore more stuff because you can do more things with it. And then the next app, let's see what I have here. Okay, this is another effect you guys love and it's called Motion Leap. If you go here, you see my projects, you could create new project and you import the picture and you do whatever you want. I'm gonna show you. This one you have to pay for effects, uh, but the free version have effects already. So I never paid neither. So I'm gonna show you, this one is the one you guys love the most, at least by private messages I receive. And this is a picture of myself. I had um, wet hair, so I put like rain falling. So this is for free and it's animated. So you can see here in uh, elements, you can put elements but I don't like it. You can explore this later if you like, it's for free, you can download it. But if you go here, you go to overlays, and this is the effects. So basically this is the rain, and you can change the opacity, you see? You have more opacity and less opacity. I don't like, like, to, I don't like to do it a lot because it doesn't look good, so I put it in less. And then you have more stuff, you have this effect, which is super cool as well, like the stars, like the space. And this is nice, it creates like a video from one of your pictures. So for portraits, it really works super well. Then you have this one. I'm gonna go back and I show you other pictures. For example, this one, I did the fire effect. If you put play, you see here the effect. And you always guys love this on stories and everything. It's like, how do you do it? And it seems super hard to do it, but as you can see, it's just one up. So it's not so hard. I don't know if I have more. Yeah, this one is super nice as well. I shared it in stories time ago and it's like, I'm, I don't know, fractioning. And this is super cool as well. So yeah, this app as well, you have to pay if you have more effects, but if you don't pay, you have still a few. And one of the main apps I always tell you about on my videos, maybe you are expecting it, is Pinterest. Guys, Pinterest is for free. You can follow me there. It's not even about growing following in this app. It's just about sharing inspiration with each other. So feel free to follow me. If you see here, you have my boards. So every time I'm in the tube, in the bus, and I want to explore ideas to feed my creativity, I do boards and I have here male poses ideas, male portrait inspiration. Let's go here. And this is super cool. You have all of these colors, uh, gels, um, poses. They use props like this apple. I love to take ideas on Pinterest. This is something you must have because it's gonna help you a lot. So let's go here, if you go to search, let's say you have a photo shoot with a model, with a client, with uh, someone from your family, whoever, and you have a photo shoot in the city and you don't know in the city how to play with buildings, in the frame, with cars, how to pose your models. So you just put in search, I don't know, um, city portrait. <laughs> I'm just gonna put the city portrait. There you go. You have this idea already is great, because I'm sure in your city you can find some stairs and some buildings and it's such an amazing frame. So this is an idea. And then you have all of this, you see in the tube, behind a building on top with perspective. I love shooting from the bottom, it looks super cool. So you can see here so many ideas already in the city with the flare here of the sun, from the bottom again, coming up from the car. Guys, this is super useful. And then if you have the photo shoot, what you would do is create a board called, I don't know, uh, City Portrait Inspiration, and then save in your board these pictures you are liking, so then during the photo shoot, you can check to take inspiration, and it's very useful for your models, because many times, at least for me, sometimes I work with professional models, but sometimes I don't. They are new models, they want to be models, and they want a portfolio. So it's very good to show them. For example, this picture. I love this pose, maybe you hate it, but I like weird poses and I don't know, symmetry in the pictures. So what I would do, instead of explaining to the, um, to the model, which I could do as well, for them, sometimes it's easier to see it. So I would take the picture and show it to them and they just replicate it. So for me, Pinterest is amazing. And if you don't have it yet, I recommend you to open an account, it's for free, start to create boards, get inspired with portraits, and then you can follow other photographers, you can follow me, and you can see what I put on my boards, you can create new ones for yourself. Even if you're a product photographer, if you wanna shoot a jewelry and you never did it before, or you did it but you don't have ideas or angles or frames, 
You can put jewelry photography and so many things gonna come up here and then you will find the style you like. But Pinterest for me, if you are a photographer, you really have to do it. And quickly, I wanted to mention something because so many of you are asking me, how do I record my videos regarding lighting? So in a couple of videos, I mentioned how to build a photography studio at home and I mentioned a flash and I mentioned a continuous light, which is very affordable and is the one I record my videos with. And imagine if I don't have it, you don't see anything. So for me, it's crucial to have the light for my videos. There you go. And it comes with a remote control, but now I'm not sure if it comes with it anymore. I think it doesn't. They just sell the flash, the flash, no, sorry, the continuous light, and then separate the remote controller. I'm gonna link it down below. Uh, actually, the last video I did about self-portrait photography that you guys are loving it as well, uh, I did it with the continuous light. I wanted to show you uh, how it folds the light on my face. That's why I use continuous light for my portraits. But yeah, I use it for both, for photography and video, mostly for video. And I think that's it, guys. Please subscribe if you didn't yet. Like the video because it helps a lot. And I will see you very soon. Ciao.